now I feel like it feels like when you go on Britain's Got Talent, so I should just <laughs> step back and take a breath for a minute, so excuse me. Imagine if hand knitting became the new language for global talent. And I'm going to be what Simon Cow does, start again. <laughs> Sorry. Imagine if hand knitting became the new language for global connection. I own the company Coco, K-O-C-O, and that stands for Knit One, Change One. We are hand knitting experts and have hand knitted for brands all around the world. We go into rural villages in the south of Tamil Nadu and find ladies who have never been to school and teach them how to hand knit, basic English skills and maths. My company here in Australia and in India has been operating for the past five years. During this time, we have knitted garments and we've exported them back here to Australia, to the USA, to the UK and to many countries in Europe. We are a certified B Corp, which recognises our absolute commitment to having the highest standards of social and environmental impact. In 2017, we won the Australian India Small Business Award and I'm a published author. The name of the book, Coco, Knit One, Change One. When I was 10 years old, I was home from school sick with the measles. My aunt, or should I say my great aunt, came over and minded me for that week. She taught me how to knit. She sat beside me, got the two knitting needles, and showed me with the absolute love and care that for me I hadn't actually ever received how to create every single stitch. Ironically, her name was Aunt Pearl. <laughs> It's that same love and care that I wish to share with the entire world through the medium of hand knitting. As I stand here and share this story, we are undergoing rapid growth. Fashion brands around the world are responding to consumer demand to know who makes their garment and how it is made. And they are turning to us to solve their problems. I currently employ 150 ladies and we need 600 ladies to keep up with the current demand. <coughs> so that you understand what village life is like and the impact that Coco has had, for the next two and a half minutes, I would like you to pretend that you are Sita. You rise early with the sun and leave your thatched roof house with hardened mud floors to come outside to light the fire, to cook breakfast for yourself, for your husband, for your children, for your husband's parents, that's seven people. During the day, you bring water from the well to your home and you walk the cow. Your income is derived by selling the milk that this cow gives. Frequently, your husband takes out his frustrations on you. And at this point in time, because you know no differently, you do not know how to say no or stop. In 2012, you joined Coco, and five years has passed. You still rise early with the sun to cook and clean. You are so organised that you also prepare lunches for your family to eat while you are at work. Your children leave for school. What happens if I go a little bit more than five minutes? <laughs> Thank you. Your children leave for school and you leave for work. Because you have become an absolutely fantastic knitter, you are now head of the quality control department for garments that leave for the top department stores in Europe. 
You have responded with all the responsibilities that Coco has bestowed upon you, and you have a newfound self-confidence. This enables you to lead a team of 60 ladies to become as efficient as you, and it also enables you to stand up to your husband and say, do not hit me. You arrive home from work at four o'clock to be there for your children, and you have upgraded your house to have tiles on the floor and tiles on the roof so it does not leak when it rains. How do you feel now when you are Sita? She feels proud, and I feel so proud. And I would like your help to give this same opportunity to 600 ladies just like Sita. If everybody in this room were to give $150, together we could change the lives of 600 families and give 600 ladies just like Sita this same opportunity. By contributing to COCO, you will join my mission to continue to hand-knit the world together.